My girlfriend has started writing a Harry Potter fan fiction with two characters loosely based on well, us. Well, hold on. Whew. Okay. She has told me that these two characters eventually end up dating. I'm a little worried. Will her writing reveal uncomfortable truths about how she sees me or wishes that I was? Should I stop reading now or am I worried about nothing? That's from Confundus Charmed in California. Folks, these are the kinds of questions we need. This is a perfect my brother, my brother, me question. Thank you. And then when Steve the Wizard pulled out his wand, Jenna said, sure, it's a little small, but that's okay. I still love you. It's Hey, honey. I want to talk about this paragraph. No, it's a wand. I talked about how it's phoenix feather and dragon heart string. And boy, I wish it was thicker. (laughs) Just a little bit. Um, And Steve the Wizard always chewed with his mouth open. And Sarah the Wizard hated that. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Let's talk about this. One day, Sarah the Wizard got an enchanted dagger and buried it in his fucking throat (laughs) because he couldn't keep his goddamn mouth shut. And I'm also, I'm talking to you. I mean, first of all, let's talk about the terminology because it doesn't sound like Harry Potter fan fiction. It sounds like maybe a little bit of extended universe, a little bit of EU, a little bit of uh, like Harry Potter Tales from the Moss Eisley Cantina. Yeah, canon, um, canon G. If it's perhaps. canon G, that's that's perfectly fine. Because when you say fan fiction, I immediately think of you know a lot of Draco's throbbing member. And oh, you're thinking of slash fiction. Right, that's, that's synonymous. No, fan fiction can be completely, uh, completely benign. And oh yeah, just, have you read just, a lot of that? Well, uh, no, I'm, you've read a lot of, of Shadow the Hedgehog, fucking big the cat's asshole, is what you have read, sir. <laughs> I love those uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, bigs the cat slash fictions. Yeah. Oh, are, were you laughing because you think that's a thing that doesn't exist, or are you laughing because you know and acknowledge that that is half of all fan fiction? No, I was laughing because I get actual enjoyment from reading those and it makes me very happy okay good i was i I think that this question would be more troubling wouldn't you be more troubled question asker if she was writing two characters loosely based on you who were not dating and instead she was dating like the captain of the quidditch team that would be more you thought that was you and then it turned out the captain of the quidditch team had like a weird mole that you don't have Mm -hmm. wait a minute Wait That's a minute. Not me. Our neighbor Jerry has a mole, though, and he's great at Quidditch. <laughs> God damn it, Jerry. Please Bye, don't take Jerry. her just because you can. I'm sorry. I can't catch the golden snitch. <laughs> His snitches are beyond compare. <laughs> His mole is covered with gross hair. Oh, Jesus. With ivory skin and dragons of emerald green. <laughs> okay. I, this sucks on a lot of different levels. Isn't this a great test of like a relationship? That first time someone hands you their fan fiction. Their manuscript. How you react to that will determine the course of your love forever. Can I say you guys like, I secretly think I would enjoy the hell out of writing fan fiction. What universe would would you want to dip into? What? What universe would you want to dip into? What if I had to write fan fiction yep. in a universe? Which one would I want to inhabit? Yes, I mean I wrote a spec office script once, which was basically this. Yeah, was, so that maybe like that was basically fan well, that fiction, was a, right? that was potentially for a job, and it was a yeah, good right, yeah yeah. But is it yeah, all yeah, fan yeah. fiction until someone pays you for it? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean when when J.K. Rowling wrote the original Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That was actually Dune fan fiction. Not a lot of people know that. Very she little details had to change. House, House, House Atreides was just House Gryffindor. They just changed the name oh. of it. Oh. Yeah. I think I would want to dip into Quantum Leap. It's, so, it's such a rich My vein. My God. What yeah. can't you do? Uh, I would write the hell out of some Quantum Leap fan Oh, fiction. I want to do one where he leaps into Santa Claus. Travis, that's a fucking good idea. Thank you, Justin. Oh, and who's Batten the partnering down the up with? I'm ready who's to partnering read? up with Doctor Who? I'm gonna go uh, actually run into the run into the bedroom really quick and grab Rachel's laptop and read you guys some of her Quantum Leap slash fiction that she's written <laughs> because that is her favorite show of all time. Oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of hologram sex involved, and you know what I'm thinking that you're absolutely right. Yes, <laughs> congratulations. Swiss cheese memory and an ass like Gruyere. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't. She still manages to write in a scene where Scott Bakula gets to sing, though, because it's in his writer. 
I'll let you, I'll fuck a physical manifestation of Ziggy, and I'll have hologram sex too. But you gotta let me dress up like the big bopper. Okay, Scott. That is an yeah. ironclad contract when he anticipated slash fiction. Yep. In case, like, 25 years from now, people are writing on the internet about me having sex with Ziggy, I have to sing in those, in to those stories. Come on, Donald Belisario. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> I've talked about this before, but how fucking good would like an adventure game series set in Quantum Leap be? I think about it and I get so excited. I could write that. Is that is that fan fiction? Are I'm you about a Telltale? Are Telltale you ta- are you talking about like a video game you. scenario or like a board yes. game card game scenario? No, 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 board, video game scenario. Be so fucking tight. I would write it for free. You could make any game into a Quantum Leap game by just having a scene at the beginning where he leaps. Like, there's very few distinguishing features of it other than the leaping. It's not like he gets super strength or anything cool like that. You could do it right now just by editing in, like, scenes into video games where, like, just for one second he looks at the camera and says, like, oh, boy. And then you just keep going. And you're like, Holy, wait, hold on. Wait Is a this second. a Quantum Leap game? Is Goldeneye uh, a Quantum Leap game? Did we talk about Quantum Leap sl- slash uh, fan fiction enough that we'll actually be forced into making some? Because I really want to write some fan fiction. Isn't everyone just looking for an excuse to write some fan fiction? Like, I guess. I guess we I need will. to do a Patreon where we just write quantum. Leaf. I got to do it. It's for the donors. Yeah, yeah I don't I mean, want to be writing fan fiction. Ooh, 